The seven stages of alchemical transformation are as follows. Try to keep up. Step one, calcination. This process involves heating a substance inside a crucible until it is reduced to ash. The alchemists of the arcane used a substance called vitriol, capable of corroding all metals except gold. Spiritually speaking, this means the psychological suicide of self, destruction of the ego, and detachment from material gratifications. Life prepares us for death. The hardest lessons inevitably are the best teachers. Nothing from this world will ever leave here. No soul or spirit enters the realm of earth without some form of tribulation or trial. Choosing participation without domination or introspection over aggression assist in transfiguration. Starting at the base chakra, the fire of calcination can be catalyzed by tachycardia-inducing activities and yogic techniques. The cosmological correlation belongs to Kronos, Saturn. Step two, dissolution. Washing the ashes of your old reality, using the natural powers of potentiality. Metaphysically speaking, water represents the unexplored, unconscious psyche of self. By becoming an active observer in a fluid flow state, you can experience freedom without fear of future failure. This can manifest as a marathon runner, doped up on that dopamine dump, or even a song, sung for no one. This is the great flood metaphor within the mythos. Cleaning off the corrosion, revealing a reflection for true evaluation. Step three, separation. Chemically categorizing the components of dissolution by filtering out the unworthy and unwanted wasted materials. This leftover element called natron represents the common tendency for salts to form solid bodies, chemically speaking. Found by the rediscovery of your eternal self and your personal role written in the divine dreams of destiny, the reintegration of your refined reinterpretation of reality, letting go of the leashes of life's little leeches. Step four, conjunction. This is achieved by combining the newfound nature of the masculine and the feminine, creating the genuine. Supercharging the self through recognition of the synchronicities of the simulation. Represented as the heart chakra, capable of mastering the innate inconsistencies of the external experience. Five, Furman Fucking Symbolically, this is the newly birthed fetus formed from the death and resurrection of self. The Egyptians believed the human liver was the seat of the soul. Activation of the throat chakra is achieved by speaking the vibratory tones of truth. Step six is distillation purifying the condensed fermented solution of the subliminal and transmuting it into solid form, beta testing one's own proposed new persona, lest the lesser latter identity lie in wait. Alchemists of the Orient called this process circulation of the light. Occultists understood this to be activation of the pineal gland, the third eye, or brow chakra. Meninges mixing with mercury. 
The last of the set is the seventh step. Coagulation while the creator rests. Chemically, this substance was considered to be the powder of the sun, the alchemist's philosopher's stone, metaphysically known as the astral body or ultima etheria. Simultaneously serving sorcerers as a skeleton key into every single stage of the simulation, the Drago drink this ambrosia-like elixir, slowing their material metastasis. It should be of no surprise to include this to the list of reasons why the corona or golden crown chakras have been weaponized. Only the self-empowered are dangerous to this dimension. Onward and outward. The existential experience of expansion for all eternity. Time is nothing more than the linear process of observance, sequencing events for singular, systemic analysis. If past, present, and future exist in a simultaneous moment, time is our successive approach to understanding the sudden burst into being. Whether we choose alchemy or anarchy, every path to perfection is of equal unimportance. All roads lead to nowhere. The path is anywhere but here. We are each given our unique palette of paint, mixing the colors of spirit with the shades of soul, creating a material masterpiece while on Mother Earth. From cookbooks to spirit cooking, rules and regulations are synonymous with rituals and incantations. Discovering your own sacred system of syncretism increases one's own chance to dance with the divine. Life is our greatest teacher, showing us in animated actions the lessons needed for earthly integration. Similar to a concert musician's individual impeccable performance, perfectly harmonious within the greater symphony, one must integrate their own role within the greater universe. Learning to live with yourself is the first step towards loving yourself. The warden of this reality believes destruction serves creation. Karmically cleansing their conscience through finely printed foreshadowing. I, for one, could have quite possibly sold my soul to Satan, signing contracts and user agreements without ever understanding the terms of the transactions. Even the blind have blind spots. There are no loopholes or escape clauses for the sanctioned suffocation of sovereign souls in this simulation. God always wins. Eventually, the Rothschilds will have to pay their bill. What the fuck will bloodlines matter to robots? Creation through destruction, initiation through deception. Almost every cult or religion is based off the same Holy Bible. The Torah is simply the five books of Moses. The word Islam literally means submission. Buddhism pacifies passion, keeping one comfortably numb inside the wheel of reincarnation. None of these mean more or less than the other. Every path in pursuit is invaluable. Comparison of one's own quest to another's is a thief of joy. Focusing your energy on your unique perceived experience with reality cultivates enjoyment. It's all alchemy, you see. Existence in motion. Birth, death, love, loss. What's the difference? And who's counting? The world never needed a happy ending. Happy endings are for Hollywood and Chinatown. In the real world, nothing ends. It just changes. Those who want out will have their chance. Those who choose to stay and fight for humanity's future get their chance too. The event, the lockdown, fuck, even World War III all served a purpose. We might not choose where we start in this life, yet we all had the chance to decide our departure. So enjoy the ride.